Hi everybody, I'm Lord Volkark, and this is a plane test night that we're trying out. As you can see, it's from On Chan, and these guys are them. Yes. So we are uh, Oni Chan Games. Uh, we are playtesting a game called Slasher. Basically, it's a uh, homage to uh, like the uh, 80s slasher films. So we'll just kind of, and we've got a, it. It uses in conjunction with it an app that's been developed to keep track of player locations, uh, characters, and points. <clears throat> We're also keeping points on paper just in case we have any crashes or anything like that. So it's been determined that I'm the slasher. Everybody else is a camper. So on this first move, what we'll end up doing is uh, I have to look through my stuff here. Oh, I got a problem right there. I need to change that. We're also kind of debugging stuff as we go through. Yeah, we're still doing play testing on this. So, what'd you find out? Oh, maybe one of the. It, I just, one of my. Like, it on should the be keyboard. black here. Oh. Spread it out. I don't want to cut off his key. Hey, the only thing is you're getting in front of my oh, camera. Oh, oh yeah, you trying to yeah. get it low enough that yeah, it'll work. Yeah, yeah that's much Heck better. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is it going to stay? Oh, no. Wait. You can bend it. There you yeah. go. Yeah. That's what we play. Now Casey's covered up with us. No. No. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're yeah. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Yeah, Somebody right. shake the table. No, we're good. <laughs> so, uh... I've got different attack cards in my hand, and basically my attack cards are a little different from the camper stuff. Uh, my attack cards are things I can hit people with, uh, but they also have locations on them. So I can't hit you guys if I don't have a card that has the right location. I am in the galley. Yeah, currently it shows the galley, the cellar, cellar and you are in the athletic field. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. <laughs> okay. So, um, athletic field, cellar, and galley. I don't have any of those, so I'm going to draw a couple on my first turn. Uh, I'm going to go with. Is it cute? It quits when you're dead. That's why I turned it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> glad he, glad he just picked it. That's good. That's good. It's okay. like I said, the the change location is the only thing that's real buggy on mobile right now. So uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go after whoever's in the cellar right now. Oh, that's shitty. Okay. Oh no. So that's ten. No. Oh. So. So take off your ten. You got, uh, well, no, no, no. Well, you you've got some options there. That's right. Avoid so your current attack. You could avoid the current attack. Or you can come after me with something ever after being hit by ten. Now, can I avoid the current attack and then attack you? No, no. It's one or the other. One or the other. Gotcha. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to that. So, all right, I'll take it. Right okay. Right. What'd you hit me with? The shank? Yeah. I hit you. Now you, now you get to you get so to attack you get back. Right, you, get attack. you get a chance to defend yourself. Okay. So the whole idea here is you're gonna try to build an item or build an attack weapon mm -hmm. based on the uh, the, uh, items the you icons. Have. Yeah, and the items that you have. So you can put them together however you want, and you have to convince us that it's a thing. So, for instance, <laughs> if you took a broom handle and duct tape and a piece of glass, you know, you can say I'm making an axe out of it or yeah. whatever. Yeah. All right, so... so it's a developmental <coughs> tool structure. Absolutely. Yeah, so developmental tool structure, and, and there's also a, an element of... Uh, Is there breakage? There's not necessarily breakage, no. It's kind of one and done. On yeah, it's a one and done because if you think about 80s horror films, they, they just did it and ran away. Yeah. You know? they so that's it. that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, you don't have any kind of bonding thing. Yeah, you got nothing to put it together. Oh, then there's actually the rope on the... Uh, yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. if there you can go. convince them, that's good. All right, there we go. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and hit you for, you know what, I'll do that. Use the rope of the anchor and of the tree oh, saw. Oh, that's not a bad idea, yeah. actually, yeah. To tie this, or tie these all okay. together, and so, then along with... Yeah, don't get greedy. <laughs> now remember, <laughs> you only have a maximum. What's your maximum? You have a maximum oh, of... 20. 20 yeah, points. So you can only hit okay. for 20. Gotcha. Okay. So if you look on these cards, and it's a little bit small, but you have a maximum of 30. 
So you can hit me for up to 30. Nice. But remember, you can only use those three things fire. that are on your card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, for instance, you you can use slip, build, and trip. That's what those are. So what's the, all right, so what's the deal with the, so I've got this paint thinner over here. And if you move your location mm -hmm. at any time. I don't have anything you, to start a fire though. Uh, what does that say? I have to actually have something to kind of catch it. You can't use any fire above. objects at all. But there's that electrical. Right there. You, you can like use electrical. If you could maybe take like an extension cord and mm -hmm. cut the ends off of it, you put the paint thinner down and put the uh, extension cord in there. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Hold on to that one for later. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, just kind of string that along in there with it. So I'm going to you know, hit you with all that. <laughs> okay. So, on the yeah. so hope, the, hope the, this uh, you know breaks on your face too. Well, okay. Let's see. All right. You got so, three, six, nine, ten, but you use four cards, so it's ten times four. Ten times four. That would be forty, but you can only hit me for oh, twenty. Oh, okay. So you might want to save some yeah. of your okay, stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, hang on, so. so show them, show the camera a couple of your cards here, Casey, and just kind of show them what we're dealing with as far as the icons. Like that one's got a bunch of them on it. So the, the small icons that you see there, there's trip, slip, build, fire, and electricity. And you have to use those in conjunction with each other to build something to get back at the slasher. And each character is limited to the number of, yeah, there you go. Each camper is limited to the, uh, 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 an attack range. So like his is only 20, his is 30. What's yours, Casey? Uh, you're just 25. 20, you're just 25. Okay. So I got a question on that. Then. Yes. Uh, so you're saying I was going to be hitting for 40, but I can't hit for 40. You can't so hit for I've 40. The only thing, thing you can hit me for, you can hit for zero total to 20. 20. Okay. So yeah. how do how do I figure out? Okay. Where's so, the where's the times 10? So you got three, out? six, seven times three. So that's 21. Oh, but okay. you can hit me for 20. I'm gonna do that anyways, saying? just you because go. you know I want some of this broken glass. I got to you. Get any of yeah. I want you to I, kind of I, think I, about I, that. I understand that. Yeah. And then just sit your discard here. All right. okay. Yeah, it's, it's the points times the number of cards. So what we're going to want to do is I'm going to take 20 from mine. And I'm hit, that, hit that change location once and let's see what happens. Boom. I'm in the chapel. You went to chapel. Chapel. Got okay. it. Okay. Sweet. Got it. Okay. And so you're at 40, he's 280. Okay. So we're good to go. So I attacked. It goes started. to him. And then we'll go around. Now, and when you go around, what you're going to want to do is take a look at what you've got and how does it work together in conjunction with the things that you can play. And if you don't like them, you can put them back as long as you keep 10 in your hand all the time. Now, when do I need a draw, by the way? You'll, 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 when, you, when you come back around to you. Okay. Yeah, you'll build back up to 10. So it was my turn. I did not get attacked, so I'm just refilling my hand, discarding objects, and then getting, getting new cards. And then I am done. So now, Josh, it goes to you. Okay, cool. So, uh, oh, yeah, good. I'm, I'm watching and also okay. keeping cool. up a little bit. Yeah, I'm multitasking. Yeah, I got you. I got you. No, as long as you So you can put any, any oh, yeah. number of cards back you want, you can draw back up to 10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these back and then go ahead and draw. So, uh, let's see here. I've got four. You only got four, so you have six. Yeah. All right, there we go. go. Alright, so he's got his hand rebuilt. If you want to get rid of anything, you can. And we'll talk about escape and what cards you're looking, here in a minute. What you're looking for is you've got larger items like the three-point items, and then you've got bonding agents like rope. You've got a spool of wire. You'll also see tape. Like monster glue, monster duct tape. Glue, yeah. That way you can start making these bigger hit items. It'll come to you as you keep going. Hey oh guys, welcome to the room. We're playing Slasher right now. Slasher. Yeah. So it's a card game that we're in development right now. We're also Slasher. Yeah. And we're working with a, uh, like a version two of our mobile app we're working with as well. Okay, so you rebuilt, right? Mm -hmm. so you're good. Okay, let's talk about escape cards real quick. Okay. Uh, we have tell escape. Them about, tell them what happens there. Escape card is another option. Either you can, as you, as a series of campers, you can work to to literally defeat or kill the slasher, or you can work to build an escape item, uh, such as a boat or a phone or a radio. You've got multiple escape cards. Each one of the you've got a series of four escape cards that are, are generic, 
and then you've got a unique item to each one. No, and no, 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 no. When he was showing the car. Oh, oh, move it that way. Yeah, right there. There we go. That's good. And then once you get your escape item built, it's a series of five cards, then the slasher has to make a decision at some point. He's got to go after your escape escape item because if he can't, then the, then the campers can escape. Right. There are, and there's one, you said there's one unique item. One unique. So mm -hmm. for the car, boat, and motorcycle, there's going to be one unique item that completes it before you guys can escape. Mm -hmm. How many of those do we need again? There's five. Five, five, five of each. Shift area in the structure that is in play? As far as the like escape he, he st Yeah, he started out in the basement, correct? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Or so, whatever it was. So, are you able to escape to go to another space in general? Basically, or? if yeah. you can build that thing and everybody, it's a co op type deal, if everybody mm -hmm. can build it, uh, then I have one chance to come after your unique thing or whatever thing I want to pick off. Yeah. Um, and if I can't do that, then you guys can escape and you're done. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you've you escaped, you know, the, the next Friday the 13th or whatever. Yeah. There you, know. you go. Yeah. And that's what everybody's mission yeah. is in general. In all of this. Say it again? Everybody's mission is trying to escape. Yeah, so there is a piece of co-op there. Yeah. Now, however, there may be those guys that just want to kill me. You know, so as the slasher, so yeah. that could be the thing too. So, we're, going, all right. so we're, we're back to we're back, back to, to you. me. And all you right. should. So we got athletic field, chapel, and galley. I'm in the galley. All right, so You're I'm coming chapel. after whoever's in the chapel. Oh come on! Yeah, <laughs> let's do that again. This guy. Uh, I'm coming after you for five with the with the stained glass. Stained glass. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Man, I didn't draw my hand back there. That's all right. I'll do it next time. We've got some glue. Oh no. True. True. Hey, how's it going? Let's see here. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna retaliate on you. Are you? Or the minus okay, five. Then take your five off. Yeah. Right. Take the five off there. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, you you're holding some decent stuff now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got another freaking anchor. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't use the anchor. Last oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And he says he's got some decent stuff. He's got some items and he's got some binding agents like glue or duct tape or twine that he can build a better weapon. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, your favorite, the grill tongs. Yeah, the grill tongs. <laughs> but he can't use fire to heat them up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see here. But you can duct tape the grill tongs to the baseball bat. This is true. And see, that's your 21 again. Yeah, yeah. But I think I'm going to hold on to that. Actually, you know what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie these grill tongs to the anchor. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to shove these in your eye and then throw the uh, the anchor at you. Hopefully it will hit you and maybe you know, yeah. knock you down the stairs or something. Yeah, it really okay. hurt. So what did you, okay, so you only used two cards. Yeah. But so, how many points? So you got six points six times, times two, two cards. So you hit me for 12. For 12. Ooh, well, hang on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm get, saying. Yeah, so you okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, in that case, let's go ahead and throw some glue on there, too. Okay, so you're going to glue the grill tongs to the anchor. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. while reinforcing it with the rope. So that makes you seven, seven. that puts you up to 21. So that's, that's my 20 Ooh, again, right? There we go, yep. All right. Oh, because you're limited to 20 hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then since you got attacked, go ahead and change your location. And you got updated. Did you get updated? <laughs> Uh, yes, I so sure did. Okay. Right. Yeah. So okay. there's an increase for when you out? actually yeah, you that's fire, man. give damage across. Yeah, well, well, what happens is I'll hit him for something and then he hits me back with whatever his homemade item is. So there's no way to increase back to your level. There is. There is. There is. I'll do that here in a minute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So for instance, if we want to do that now, I've got a card called Call Upon the Spirit of the Woods. When I call upon the Spirit of the Woods, I can regenerate my, my points after that attack. All right. So I got hit for 20. So I'm gonna go. Oh man. Yeah. We need a plus ten button. Yeah. Yeah. We could maybe make it like a, a, a roll or a drop down or something. Yeah. That would give it a random effect. Uh, so I was a two. I was a two eighty. Oh, that's right. So yeah, what he's done right, is right. he used his call upon the spirit of the woods to negate that attack, so he gets his, his points back. Points. This guy. <laughs> now the players have first aid, uh, so they can use first aid to negate. Anchor. So I'm gonna avoid that. Yeah, that's the other thing. I took some stuff out of his hand too. Mm -hmm. That would really hurt. All right, that's good. So I regenerated because I called upon the spirit of the woods. That regenerated that 20 points. He he lost his cards. Okay. And then I'm I'm back to where I was. And they can. There are some things for them. The same deal here. Last minute escape card, 
so they can get out of the current attack. Mm -hmm. Same type thing. They don't really regenerate, but they get out without being attacked. So first aid kit. Tools uh, there is a first aid kit. Well, just through the deck. Just through the deck. Yeah. Okay. There is a first aid kit, so that would allow them to regenerate after their oh, last yeah. attack. You know, things like that. All There's right, a few things thrown You can only use this during combat. Yes, during the current attack. Yeah. Okay, so after yeah. I can't use after after attack can, yeah. on the card, it's it's first aid kit. Uh, void current attack. Void current. Now I can't use that while I'm attacking. Like after I've done attacking you, like while I'm in that. Right. If I've already attacked you and you're coming back at me, then I'm using mine. Okay. If if I had attacked you and you decided just to play that, great. Then whatever I did to you doesn't count. Okay, but I couldn't I couldn't attack you and then use it. Right. Right. It's one or the other. Okay. Okay. Yeah, one or the other. So. So far, it's two. You either run away or you attack me. One of the yeah. other. You know, that's, that's I'm, th I'm thinking you're gonna, you're, you might be uh, getting at me here in a minute again. So. And there's no hide. There's no hide. The only hide is if I don't have the right locations on my card. You can't actually you can't find them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we go through. He? So we go through several turns where I'm like, well, hell, I don't know where you're at. You know that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put one card back. I am going to, and before I draw all of my cards, I'm going to go ahead and play the keys for our escape item. So that starts our escape item. Okay. And then I'm going to draw two more two more cards, and I'm at ten. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'll, Your turn. I'm gonna, can I go ahead and uh, do I need a draw first, and then what's the order that needs? Well, if you play that, then you can draw another card. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, so I mean, go ahead he's, still he's below ten right now. Yeah. Well, then you can go ahead and get to ten. Or you can play that, then get to 10, either way. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and play the other escape okay. uh, item. So yeah, you guys are either building right now a car, a boat, or a motorcycle. Yes. You don't mm -hmm. know because mm -hmm. you have keys and you have a can of gas. Yes. Yep. So just general items that go across those three things. Now, could you, because you, the gas was... See what I'm saying? So you've got these three things. Yeah. If they're on the escape, no, you're not using it as an attack. Because that would be yes. hell. Oh. Yes, I understand. But at some point, it, going through the iterations of this game, the slasher had to be able to defend himself exactly. at some point. I, I get that. I point. just kept getting killed, you know, and and it wasn't fun that way. And now, if you go with the '80s mentality, they never do anything major, right? Right. Big. And the slasher is dumb. He hits with one thing, and mm -hmm. that's it. However, the uh, the uh, the kids they always have some kind of trap for him or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Kids these days. Oh, if, if, if you had the can opener, man. You gotta <laughs> <laughs> can I, is, there, is there an ability to ever swap cards? There is a help card in there. There yes. is a help you card where help. you can swap between oh, campers. You have to have that card. So if you attack, okay. you can play your help card, and somebody can give you an item that works in conjunction <laughs> with the other stuff. Some of the now that definitely cards. sounds yeah. like yeah. what is the stronger male to use. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Kind of this is definitely the hey, new game. That's what we're shooting That's what we're shooting for. I like that game. Well, you put your can of cream corn down, then you put your nails down, because see, that's a slip. So they can slip and fall into the nails. It's come oh, okay. a long see, way. It sounds like besides gaming okay. places, you should hit like that's what the little water means. The slip. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, water is yeah. the uh, yeah. slip, and then the, the yellow is the trip. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Well, we are friends huh. with uh, slip, slip, these trip. guys oh, on Twitter it. called Porn the Game, <laughs> and they're out of New York. And some of the stuff that they hit up are like so you're good, and then you're you're up next, right? Things like that, and it does real well for them. Oh yeah. So you know that may be another one of our audience as well. Okay. And by the way, and these guys are owned jams. You can see the icon discard on the page. Yeah. It's easy because yeah, once you put them down there, then you know you can get two more, yeah. And then, yes, you can discard those as well, yeah. Holy crap, we're at four. Yeah, he played two. He played two. But we're missing the unique, so we're not, yeah. you know, we're not escape worthy yet. Uh -huh. It's okay. I'll just keep tanking all your damage. Yeah, right now, okay, we've got four. It. We've got yeah. four yeah, of the, the general out. escape <laughs> items. Uh, what we're looking thing. for is the unique that will allow us to either start up the car, the boat, or the motorcycle and get away. Now, would that be slower if it had more players on the other side? Well, we're trying to limit it to four right now mm -hmm. just because of the build that we have. Um, once we get it to a final thing, then we you know, I thought it would be Spanish on the other side or something. Or something. <laughs> something like that. That way people couldn't overline the, uh, the slasher in general. Right. Oh, yeah. There you go. You've got all the icons. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got your fire, build, slip, trip, and electricity. Then it also shows your points, 
which that needs to be updated. It's actually yep. now five and ten. Um, and then it shows your unique escape items. So the escape item they're trying to build now is either the car, boat, or motorcycle. Mm -hmm. See how we're going to get all those on one motorcycle? Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> a big motorcycle. Oh. It's got a sidecar. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's always fun. Uh, sidecar for the six. dog. What do y'all got to say? <laughs> We're taking the dog. <laughs> okay, so uh, you go for like athletic this? field Woo! ten with the barbed wire bat. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, if you want to dodge it, you can do it. Or you can hold on to that. Or you can hold on to it, try to build something. Yeah. I'd say hit him in the face, man. You got. Wow, you have a whole bunch of See, there's also this. He can do but he's got, he's got three points and he's got magic. spool of wire, he's got rope, he's got monster glue, so he can, without being he can pull together a Or I can attack any location. One or the other. So, you can use, like, so if they're forever, if I play this, wire, I can pull, just get there. Pull there you back go. Start yeah. shooting with the cordless uh, melee. Um, we don't really have anything to catch any of the fire, though. I was going to take the electric chainsaw, the spool of wire, put it on the range. Oh, That'll be there fine. You Just remember, you're, you're limited to hit me for 30. Now, he's limited to hit at 30, so he's checking his build to see, you know, he doesn't want to lose a lot of points by going over 30. But there are there are some cards in here that let us call on the Revenge of the Fallen Ones that will allow us to double that damage and go over our, our limit. Like, my character right now is at, I can only do 25 max damage. Well, then pull one of the items out. Well, that would be down to uh, uh, 24. Yeah. It's up to you, man. Wait, now, what do we need to hold this out and stop those two? Boom. Yeah, because they're ones instead of three. He doesn't have a build, though, on the hair conditioner. Oh, that's yeah. true. No build. Oh, and that's the other thing. Check your items. Make sure you you got builds. Yeah, as long as you're doing builds, you're good. Uh, my wife talked to Julie Powell today. I need to get her for these ratios. Uh, I guess you can't use the can opener then. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's your max? Maybe have a tour use that spool of wire to tie this and this onto there, because you can still cut the split. So, yeah. Well, you gotta use, if you're going to use builds, you got to use builds all the way across. If you're going to use slip, you got to use slip all the way across, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or it's got to have both. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Yeah. So, or you can just last minute escape and get out of there. But I mean, you can still use all of these to attack. That's still looking at taking 10 and dealing 15 or last minute escape. So, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to do last minute escape. Alright, so you're getting out. Okay. And then dump a lot of your ones when it comes back around to you, and yeah. And then change your location. Campfire. No, I got common area. Common yeah, area, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an old yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's back around to me now, right? No, you just attacked. No, no, you just Oh, I attacked. just attacked. That's right. So it's you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, uh, it's been fun today, honestly. Well, there's there's a there's a Willie Nelson that we could put together, but <laughs> so, and then I I've gotten two cards. I'm gonna go ahead and change my location. At one time during the development here, we had predetermined things that you could build, mm -hmm. right? Instead of just giving you the option of creating whatever. We had an item called the Willie Nelson. <laughs> the Willie Nelson was the acoustic guitar, guitar. with the uh, scuba, spears, scuba spears, a um, bandana, a bandana or scarf. and some kerosene, and then you shoot the bandanas off the off the uh, oh my God. <laughs> off the guitar. That was the Willie Nelson. <laughs> okay, so I'm done. I'm done. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, now we've inserted more of the creativity so that you can come up with your own. It, it does, that, that does, though, yeah, have yeah, a yeah. large page. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I literally can't use this at all. Never mind. <laughs> this one, and... Hey, guys, if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer. This is oh, absolutely. Yes, well, yes. Absolutely. Right yeah. here. Yeah, we are uh, good to go on questions anytime. 
And you can always hit up onichangames.com, O-N-I-I-C-H-A-N-G-A-M-E-S.com. As you can see that icon on that screen, that is their actual yeah. icon. So just go to onichangames.com, and we'll be glad to answer anything you want. And this is Waco, Texas Local, or Texas Local in Generalization. But hey, guys, we'd love to share with anybody. All right, cool. I know. Yeah. Oh man, I, I love, I love fire, man. So it gives you an, it gives you a chance to like kind of dump those, you know, and try to rebuild. Okay. All right. All right, your turn. Keep all those bonds. Do you have an extra flyer? Uh, the, 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 the game stick? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Show Josh, he gets really excited. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the flyer with you yeah, guys? Brent was actually here earlier, and we talked to him about it. I gave him the flyer. He said it's cool, so we should get this thing up and going pretty soon. Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he gave me one of those. Okay. Yeah. Talk about that if you would at some yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, you don't have to do it now. I'm just saying, whenever you're doing yeah. stuff. I mean, if we break from this one, I'll just box it. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. All right. So yeah, that'll work, huh? That's great. Yeah, like yeah. once a month. Oh, yeah. That's right great. Now. That's perfect. It's on Wednesday, so that's a good neutral day. Yeah, I figured yeah. we'll just keep it this day and just oh, once a month we'll break, like building we'll break from our dev. We'll break from our, our play testing and we'll go to you know anybody that wants to come in and show us their stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, this shows you how good this is for Waco. It's just someone who's developing is also wanting to add back to the community. That we want to see other in. people. Yeah, yeah. We want to see what everybody out there is developing Sweet. and we want to help play test and we want to you know add to whatever's out there. We're halfway between Dallas and Austin, man. We ought to, we, there's, there's talent here. And Texas has, if we have space, we might as well have major talent. Oh, absolutely. You know, LA is one thing, Texas is another. Yep. And then say you got that revenge in the fall one, that will allow you to double your points above. Above your attack range. Above your attack range. You can yeah. use that on a teammate as well, right? Is that correct? So you're going to ask him for help and take his revenge of the fallen? Well, no, I'm, say, I'm saying <laughs> if, if I'm help. dishing out, one of us is dishing out a whole bunch of damage. No, that's just for him. Oh, is that yeah. Yeah. in act when someone dies, or is it only for a No, basically it's inflict double damage during current attack, and it can go above beyond your attack range. Okay. okay. And all it is is for a revenge of people who have already died or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. Now, one thing that does happen, if I kill off one of these guys, I regenerate based on their points. So I'm able to suck the spirit out of them and, and regenerate it. What's in their cards? Yeah, it's in their, it's in their cards. cards. Yeah. It's, it's not like doubled off the number of cards. No, 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 no. It's not. It's it's not I don't get like 200 point points off of it or anything. I'm All just right. able to count it and I'm good. Okay, so we're to me, right? Yes. yes. All right, so. Uh, don't do it. Don't you do it. Uh, I'm just dumping one. He's got like 40 <laughs> girls bumps. One. He's going to eat you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all on the old side. <laughs> ten, ten cards. So it's ten cards. Yeah, ten cards per hand. Uh, so I'm going after the boathouse. Okay. But I'm going to do an attack any location. Okay. And at the boathouse, I'm going to go ahead and hit you with the axe mm -hmm. for ten. Now, you, that doesn't mean I can get in and get out because yes. I'm using one or the yes. other. And so since what he did was he was using this card to, to actually attack at the boathouse, but since he burned that special card, basically, I'm going to go ahead and use my first aid, which means that negates his attack. Mm -hmm. You guys have too, too much first aid. So you can negate <laughs> and attack with first aid. And that's interesting. Yeah. So if he plays this, it basically just voids the current attack. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. So... It sets me back. Mm -hmm. But he's got those same kind of cards too. Because I burned my card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I changed my location. Did you see that update? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and just take one more card. And then I'm going to go ahead and change my location again. Now when you just redid your card sets. I mean, just uh, when I did this, there. I think I'm getting too many reds. The okay. reds are the high points. See what I'm saying? My hand is full of them. So this next time I'll dump some just to make it fair. So if you happen to wander into that area, well, the only you have to wander into this area. Oh, okay. And, get out of there. Because when they're in these, I have to get there to play this. 
So, yeah, yeah I just try to keep the one of us to get out of town. It's almost like purposely yep. done. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a little more complicated than I figured. Well, yeah. 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 Really does because I don't have to look around. Let's say we just need to get it to make sure, like I said, it works fine on PC. Right now, the buttons are, 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 I have to put in another check for multiple presses and the latency on the network, basically. But it hadn't fallen asleep. No. Everything's been working. And this would be a heck of a development game into live streaming like this because then you could actually show the app into the corner into yeah. the video yeah, yeah, yeah. table. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, something like hovering oh, yeah, above gives you an idea of cards, but I mean, the, the best part is watching this table right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that's the one thing I wish I could do here is hang a camera. Oh, yeah. You know, because if I could hang a camera and show the table, we'd get an overall view of everything. Well, and I'm not going to lie, that's the reason why that is that way, that, so I can bring it to places. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, development like this is a great structure. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of combiners, yeah. Yes, there's a lot of ideas of where you can go. There's a lot of great Oh, sorry. And we do all the art. We do everything oh, on the cars. And I can definitely tell that you have seen enough of the movies to understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We try to we try to stick with what we know. <laughs> the viability there. <laughs> That's right. And then we go to your dad and we have questions. That's right. right. Yeah, my dad. Your dad is a huge... My dad is one of those guys that uh, whenever he gets sick, he sits down and watches all the Friday the 13th movies and all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I don't know how that makes me feel better, but it's... <laughs> it's not him dying. Yeah, That's it's like it a regeneration thing, I guess, for him. I don't know. It's like... Uh, 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 all right, where we at? Did you drop? I don't know. We're going to keep going. We're going to see what happens. Okay. But this did flash up, so I don't know. It's been sitting here for, what, 40 minutes. Okay. So I kind of got an idea of what's going on. All right. Okay, so where are we at? You just you just redid your deck, or did I attack you? He redid two. two <laughs> turned out. Okay, so it's me. All right. Now, I honestly think I'm getting through too many of these uh, ten-point things, so I'm, I'm taking y'all a deal here. That's a nice idea. Yeah, where I'm going to... I got three, four, five... Which I think it did, but I don't know that. Where were you at? You're in the boys' bunk? Yes, I'm in the boys' bunk. Boys' bunk, common area, and girls' bunk. Well, you guys, I don't have anything to attack y'all with, so I don't know where you're at. Okay, so... so you just regenerate your cards. I just want to see if this... Nope, mine's down. Okay. Mine's down. Alright, is there a way to restart that? Or? So I'm going to go ahead and... So the one that says boys bunk, that's the one I don't trust yes. every time, right? And yes, and where are you at? I am in the girls' bunk. Girls' bunk and common area. So they're, they're good. Mm -hmm. So far, yeah. And I think they've been interacting with it more. So mm -hmm. That's probably true, bunk. yeah. So we got girls' bunk, you're in. And then what's the other one? Uh, common area and campfire. So are we going to let them go ahead and hold these cards for now? Okay, well, I mean, they're right now, they're good. I mean, okay, they're, they're all right, well, then let me hold on for a second, and we'll just see if that works the next time. Okay. So, I just have to figure out how to attack you. Gotcha. I'm just like, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want that. Yeah. All I'm going to do <laughs> right now one. is switch location. All right. So it won't reconnect? So, guys, it was errors totally happen uh, in development. Yes, oh, absolutely. Say that. Should have been it's watching this. Should have been here out two weeks ago. By the way, welcome to all three of you right now from the six to three back east way. I like how it close ways. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna, uh, I'll change. No, well, I don't know. I mean, they have they have like a nice bathroom in the girls' bunk. You know, like they do. Like couches in there. They do. The band form a. You in detail. I think I might just I might just hang out in there. Okay, you're just gonna hang out in the girls' bar. There we go. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, <laughs> and you're the who? I am the geek. The boy geek? The, the girl, girl geek. Oh, well then it makes sense. It's okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. As long as yeah. Uh, I'm the bad boy. There's the character. Oh. And you'll notice they all have different abilities at the bottom, and they all have different you know attack ranges. All right, so he's good. I'm good. Yep. So we're on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they have 
Rangers, if, if they're in their spot, they gain. If they're in their spot, yes. you add another card because basically the attacks go. You know, you add up the point range times the number of cards you use. Okay. So if they're in their own thing, yeah. then they can add another. That is a card number. Awesome, because yeah. environmental is always a the best. We've game. tried, we've tried really hard to include a lot of different aspects from different games that we've either played or made or seen or. See, in Magic, they couldn't do well when we added environmental sets, uh -huh. and then now to actually see environmental sets work with this, and I'm in this the is a lot more ease. Yeah, it works pretty well. Okay, so uh, I hear you. did I hear you? I'm in the galley. You're in the galley. Okay, gotcha. Uh, oh, we're good. Yeah. So I'm coming after you with meat cleaver. Oh, okay. So my max is 25. So I have an axe, which I'm to going grind. to use a spool of wire. I'm going to use a spool of wire to affix the uh, broken glass to it. So I'm doing you double damage on the swing. Yeah, it's and double sided. That's it's double sided, and that's going to give me uh, six, seven times three, twenty-one. Right, twenty-one, and you can hit me for twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yes. What if you have the uh, ball of twine to it? I could have got one more, but I like to keep on the road. I'm saying, now you got two balls. Wow. Two balls. Didn't play what I wanted. I need the sack to carry them out. You do need the sack to carry them Alright. Okay, so, so nobody's in. So it's back to you. And I changed my position. Nobody on the, the digital is in the athletic field, right? No, nobody's okay. in the athletic field. Yep. Okay, so now it's my turn, right? Sure. Load back up. I'm going to go ahead and immediately switch positions. Stinks in here. <laughs> All right, and I'm back. All right, so my turn. And it's cool because obviously I get this before I started my So he I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay. So you're good? Yep. Okay. The play seems kind of slow at first. But everybody's I learning. Mean, it definitely picks up as you learn. Just case, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't think I'm just constantly posting out to see if anybody will draw. Them. No, you yeah. learn it as you go. Oh yeah, I'm learning. It's, it's okay. definitely. Okay. You Where'd you change, change to? Library lab. Okay. Okay. Good. Now I got a question. If I had hit change location, would it like as if it were cards? Would it have given me the library or lab? No. No. No, it yeah, really it's only yeah one. No, of it, it shuffles them, yeah. it shuffles them, and if you sit on a location, that one's out of the deck. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. It's just I'm like saying, a, if I had hit change the location, would have I would I end, have ended up in there? Flat? Yes. A, okay. Yeah, yeah, but, a, yeah, but, but it, 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 shuff, it shuffles them. Yeah, it shuffles them. Okay. They sit there until they're done, and it shuffles them again. Okay. Okay. Yep. Library lab, girls bunk, and in the outhouse. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the girls bunk. Ah, I knew I should have changed. <laughs> and I'm also, I'm also gonna cast an ancient spell so I can inflict double damage. So I'm gonna hit you for ten. <laughs> you gotta go ahead and use first aid. Yeah, put it on yours. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Woo. Okay, yeah, no, you get out of there. I, I decided to go yeah, you're in the with counselor's snake. office, so that's good. <laughs> you don't need to know that. You're in my office. <laughs> okay. You're the counselor? Yes. We're all the camp counselor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in your office. It's safer in here. The camp counselor's in the library lab and the Bad boy is, is in, the, in the office. No, no, you're in the office. Yeah. Okay, so we're going up. Okay, in the office. Oh, you can't be in the same room? No. No. You can't be in the same room. Yeah. And if I attack you, you have to change your location after I attack Okay, and I'm done. Because you're running away. Well, that's what's yeah. Like, yeah, that's what they do. Exactly. Oh, yeah. There is no casual, you know, oh, I defended this location. Now let me hang out here. Yeah. You know, there's nothing like that. No, board up the damn right. door. Right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? So we haven't done much damage to you at all. No, honestly, I'm, I'm, hit, I'm hit for uh, uh, 
basically just, oh, you know what? I didn't take my 21 off. So I am currently at, I should be at 250. Whoops, I added two. I should be, at, I'm at 259 okay. out of 300. Hey, and by the way, the way the points work, it's according to the number of campers. So you guys always start with 50 because y'all can hit me for big stuff. And I can only hit you for five or 10 points, basically. Um, and so I start with 100 points per camp. You've been tossing on the double damage on me. That's it. Yeah. And then, uh, stay where I'm at. Swap out some cards. Library lab, counselor's office, and cellar. cellar. All right, so you're up here. Yeah. Still running all right? Oh, yeah. Everything's good. I was, making, I was trying to see how fast it was running. It's running really good. Awesome. Yeah, pretty fairly. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. Let's pick up the room. Was able to do that? No, I have this piece of it. Well, library lab, counselor's <coughs> office, and cellar. Well, I'm sorry, all I got is a bottle of acid in the library lab. Uh, but I'm going to do this to you. I am going to attack with double damage and get out without being attacked, so you can't attack. So I hit you for 20. Uh, no. Oh, no, you can't. can't do anything. I got out. Yeah. So you got to take 20. Yeah, that's a pretty good attack there. It's not your fault, Josh. <laughs> yeah, man. And then change your location. Yeah, change your location. Laundry. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change my location. You guys, the laundry doesn't have something better in it. Anybody in the shed? Uh-uh. Okay, so I'm in the shed now. I was looking forward to being attacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready? Who's ready to mess some people up? <laughs> All right, so you're good? Mm hmm. All right, Josh. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, here. 30, 35. You're tracking with me. Yeah, you're sitting at uh, 40. Okay. You've only been hit once. I'm going to swap these out. It's a longer game now. Mm -hmm. It really is with all yeah. the regeneration mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Insecticide. <laughs> okay, and uh, hmm. now I got a question. You have that as far as like having escape cards now. Can you change your location and like you just as long as one of us is at that location, or it has to just be you? The person with the card. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay, so you're good. Spell, so I'm gonna hit you for 20. Okay. So I've got a 25. So if I do that and that, so you need 21. Ooh. But took you down to 20. That's a mistake. What's that? I said we were waiting to set up and still on the line. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead for 21. 21. What are you hitting me with? I have got the uh, pipe wrench, which yep. I'm going to take a ball of twine. I'm going to turn the butcher knife on top of it. Fantastic. So I'm just got the weight and yeah. the sharp. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. So you have it for 21? Mm-hmm. Boom. Oh. Seven times three, 21. All right. Oops. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cards back. And I've got to change locations on after being attacked with the shed. And I'm going to go ahead and on my turn change locations as well. Oh, oh yeah. Garage. Oh, yes. gosh. Gotcha. Yes. So. Well, uh, 
while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and play our final object. We have the, the escape object that I have to be in the garage to play. So I'm going to play that. And now what that allows us to do is you get to go. Now you know at this point, when it rolls back to him, he's going to have to come out and grab that object. It's going to leave him vulnerable to an attack. So now that you know that, so it's you time can, to start building some good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's, you know, and then when he comes around and I do attack that item, you guys are want to going to look, or you're, you're going to want to look at each other and go, okay, who can attack for the most? And then that person's going to want to come after. Well, yeah. just play it around, and we'll I'll show you. We'll yeah. show you how. To play. All right. So. So they've built all five of their escape items, including their unique item, which shows they're just building a car. Oh, I can oh, okay. But it's only in the garage. Mm -hmm. So I would have to be holding a garage card to be able to get at it. And you're definitely going to be able to get at it if you if want. If I hold a garage card. I heard card. the vulnerability. That definitely now, sounds... If I get to it, the guy in the garage can't attack me. That's right. You, you're the only one that can attack me. They can't go around because you're the only we, one in the garage. But I thought we left it open that they uh, could, could attack. Because they can't all be in the garage. Well, they can't all be in the garage, but you're the only one that played that up. All of us didn't play other items to uh, help out the building. Escape route, though. Yeah, I mean, that's another, I mean, that, we didn't say that, uh, that's another change to the rules that we're going to change. Okay, so you're saying anybody can attack at that point? But the one that played the unique has to be in the garage. Has to be in the garage to okay. play it. Yeah. I got it. And then I have to have a garage card to, to be able to there. get it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Score well, one for the meat shields. <laughs> so, yeah. this is what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, wait. I could do. Yeah, just just build up as much as you can. You can you can dump and get more if you want to try to get threes or whatever you want to do. Two. All right, and then... Uh, Change my location. That's Let's see what he does. Okay. See what he does now. Okay, so we come to me. Um, I do have a garage card, which was the 15 point wood chipper that I was holding on mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. just in case somebody got in there. <laughs> <laughs> so that means I'm stealing this from you. Okay. Now it goes back in here, correct? Or is it, yes. or is it burnt? And there's no way they can No, actually... it would just go right here. It okay. Just go right here. There's we'll no just... way they can actually stop the. Is that the only one that we can... There's no way and they can stop the steel. Get another one. But now yeah. No, we can, we can still we can still do the uh, boat or the motorcycle. Yeah. So you can, okay. there's still a boat and a motorcycle unique out there. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, hey, wait. Since you were in there, doesn't they give him an attack of opportunity? It uh -huh. gives anybody here a, 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 the position to attack me. You However, remember, he can only hit for thirty. Oh, okay. You can hit for twenty, and he can hit for. What was yours? 25. 25. But so got, this is the way to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then you got the Revenge of the Fallen right there, too. So they can play a Revenge of the Fallen on me as well, right? Two of them. Yeah. Two of them. Okay. Well, you can't play both. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That needs to, yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This might be a bit much, but I was thinking about fixating this electric chainsaw on this rake. That way And then taking a spool of wire and attaching a screwdriver to scuba spear spear and then attach the scuba spear to <laughs> But what does that give you? Uh, basically, they give me a giant full arm with a chainsaw in the end so that whenever I slash, I shoot you yeah, the spear. The, the, like, next screw drive I don't know if it's so, now does he have to go to 30 and then he can hit doubles? Or can he just get whatever and come yeah, after? Double, yeah. Okay. All right, and then I have another question for you after that. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are you what are you hitting me with? Yeah, I, I wasn't even sure if that was that was why. Like the chainsaw. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, nine, seven. So that would be ninety-one. And then if you do double. So you're going to hit me with one hundred and eighty-two. Okay, yeah. 
But see, I think you have to play that first. <laughs> How am I going to play that first if I'm regener if I'm avoiding the current attack? He also has see, another... we talked about this last time. We don't. I, I, I don't know still if you can avoid these attacks or not. Okay, during the escape. Yeah. Okay. Because you I guys just don't know. Are, because you guys know. have been building this whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, it gives you. It's usually like the way y'all were putting it. I was thinking it kind of gave us like an attack opportunity since you're like reaching there and grabbing yeah. it, and then you know you're getting a hit for it. So as far and as you're building able, the 182 attack guy. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Well, well I mean, at this point, we're all we're all like look right 30. here. See, see how it is. I think I that's the only chance at this point to really knock somebody down. Well, that's point. true. I mean, yeah. that's the only chance. That's the only chance to build a Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. A Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, because he used to build these giant attacks against me. When we were still doing it the old way. Because I'm what? A, a 10 or 20? Huh? I'm at 10 or 20? You're at 20. And he's yeah. at 35. 30. And he's at 30. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's okay, like. Okay, well, it would, it would kick my butt. I'm telling you that. Knock you down. Yeah, so you're hitting me for 182, is what you're saying. Is that right? Yeah. 3, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times 7. So that's. Yeah, that's uh, 70. So that's 91, like mm -hmm. you said. So it's 182. Yeah. But then again, as soon as, you, as soon as you kill one of us, you get points back. That's true. Okay, so y'all gonna give me a second to get 182. I just don't think score. there's any other way to kill you now. That's true. See, and last time we played, he killed two people off real quick. Wow, really? Just real quick. So yeah, that might be, that's like one of the only ways to really get a nice uh, hit in there. Because yeah, we have so many, I think, we, again, we need to talk to uh, Miss Pyle because we may have too many, you know, void cards in there. Right. Okay, so that took me all the way down to 56. No. Huh? He was at 238. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm still battling somebody at 30, somebody at 35, and somebody at 20. Mm -hmm. And you changed your location? Oh, no, he didn't have to change his location. No, he didn't have to change the location. Okay. We were doing okay. That. Yeah. Plus, y'all have to find the other unique now. Yeah, we're done. We're, yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah. that's where it's okay. literally like now it's like, so, oh, man. You played that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it went, it, went, it went around. So it's, it went to you. Oh, that's right. It went so to me. So we're back to you. Yes. Yeah. That's the only thing that could possibly change is some sort of way to keep track of the attacks and stuff. It just it gets a little confusing once you start mm -hmm. doing all that. It's definitely an interesting structure out there. Though. <laughs> it, is, it is an interesting structure. Oh, but I mean, it's got also <laughs> like. Just because the icons you put on the card, they're lined up easier to do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, Used to, I'm done. we had to kind of figure out what went with what, and it was as simple as putting the stuff on the side of the cards, you know. Because then like, the element was laid out. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did have a question. And again, yeah. on, on, these, on these red cards, you can only play one of the red Play ones. one at a time. Yeah, okay, because yeah. I, was, I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, yeah. you know, I could have really made it ridiculous and asked for help. And I did, I I did, uh, I did put that down so that, because that is a change I need to make because you can yeah. only play one of those. Right. Right. It needs to be in the rule. So, oh, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. So, yes. Toss out three. I think that probably ends up on those cards. Grab three. Two, three. Oh, one at a time. Oh, yeah, only, <laughs> it's only so much a slasher can take. You know, you know what <laughs> we may ought to do is maybe on that, maybe we could put, you could, uh, do we have a half damage card? What would you use a half damage card? Like on a big attack like that? Oh, like for me? Mm -hmm. I could play a half damage? Maybe. That would again... We could mix it in and that see. That would force you to keep something in your hand if you wanted to. But if you did have it, then it would... Okay, so are we saying that if when I went for this escape item, the unique item, if I had already played, if I did... Could I do regenerate and play that? Or can I not regenerate at all on the attack of the escape item? I think that's an open one. I don't think I can regenerate at all on the escape item. However, if I had a half damage, damage. card, then I could grab that, play the half damage, and then y'all come at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I changed my location to Wonder's Point. 
Gotcha. That gives you, again, that makes you the choice of am I keeping this uh -huh. or keeping one of the things out of my deck? Oh, right. There you go. Okay. Just so. Yeah, so we've got yeah, 30, 35, yeah. and where are you at? 20. 20. Is it 20? Yeah, and I'm down to 56. And I'm in the garage. Mm -hmm. So like I so said, now he'll start looking and, at people. Yeah, to, yeah to I definitely start looking at people's locations. Five, six, but there's a good spread here that, you know, you can tell that you can either develop with time or you can actually, you know, yeah. just be slammed. Yeah. you almost got him... Yes. A few right times now. Start, yeah. 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 And that is what in this last move goes down. Somebody ends up dying more than once or twice. Right. You get three people in. Okay, so I'm coming after you in the garage with the tire iron. Oh, no. That's just for five. Okay. Oof. They're 15 now. They're 15. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end up killing you. <laughs> you need to stay alive in that Dr. Jones. Sometimes you don't. You don't make it out. <laughs> All right, so I'll do the 21 again. I've right. got the old broken chair leg, which I'm going to duct tape a, a, a fillet knife right. to, and got a little pink sticker coming out. So you're hitting me for 21? Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and play that now. Okay. So you hit me for 21, but I went ahead and voided that. And I'm going to. Because I regenerate. Mm. So that's good that I held that. Anybody that at the way. lake, Doc? To... No, nope. exactly. Okay, yeah. at the so lake, Doc. Change your location after you get attacked. Yeah. yeah. So what was your start, man? 300. Yeah, yeah. 300. So basically, you start with 100 points per can. Okay. So if we were only playing so with three people, I don't. Lake Doc the same as the boat. They no, always start at two different places. All right. Yeah. And so you just went, right? I did. Attack me. I just attacked you. Yeah. Lake Doc. Okay. So that definitely gives you. Where they can almost they have to achieve the hundred points oh, man. they yes. have added in. Right. Yeah, guys, I'm pulling my way. <laughs> hey, Working on hey. it, man. Yeah. And I'm, I'm at the lake dock. Now, do you have to openly tell where you are? Is it? Well, yeah, and that's that's the thing. We're playing face up here. Okay. Normally, they would be in their hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only thing I know is the is. Who they, they are, are where they and are. where they're at. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So, okay, so, do you think they should be matted out for location in them? Like, if you put it, develop the map for that, that would be the thing that you would lay out, and then everything else is on it. Well, the location open. should be in the app or in the cards. Okay. So, if you're not using the app, you can use the cards or whatever, you know. It's just that if you wanted to, like, later develop it, you could put a map out there with the yeah. game pieces. Yeah. yeah, you could. There has been talk of that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we were thinking about maybe like one of those rollout map mats or something like that. At one time, we, we started, we, we've got about nine different games in development. And one of the ones we were working on at one time was, was something based on Dante's Inferno. Oh, that'd be awesome. And we thought a mat would be cool for that because you could do the concentric circles of hell. And then they make these little domino cards. And you just lay them out on the mat kind of thing, you know, as you go down into the circles, that yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll and the, the first thing we started working on was With an actual board, board game. game, an actual board game. And we have a board game. And it's just the production is... Well, in, are you still in development on that Dungeons & Farms one? We would like to be, yeah. Because that's a, there's about to be that Hell game that's released mm -hmm. where you're hiding. You've seen that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, that would be a good time because I mean yeah. that game looks like. Oh man, change Well, the other thing you have to look at a lot of the time is like this common license and stuff. You know, Dante's Inferno is one of those. Oh, that's why you see so many of those uh, Cthulhu things because mm -hmm. it's all open license. Alice you know? in Wonderland. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's easy to develop that kind of stuff. You don't have to go get the rights for it or whatever. But um, in the open term, slasher, same thing. Yeah, I think. <laughs> the name could change, I guess, but but it's uh, uh, there's nothing out there called Slash of the Card Game, so that's what exactly. we're, that's what we're shooting for. So guys, that's also suggestions as for operation. Uh, if you are listening, that is. Do you remember where he was at? Two sided that. What do you mean? As far as the location? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if you changed location. Uh, yeah. you were in the cafetorium. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were you were at Lover's yeah, Point. So, oh, Lover's uh, Point. Now I remember yeah, that because I had a card in here and I thought I could hit you with it. There you go. Yeah. So what did what it mean? Yep. So that was in the cap. I think I was in the cafetorium earlier. So we got cafetorium, garage, and lake dock. Lake dock. All right. Well, let's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Reload.
load a little bit. Oh, good. So I'm going to go to the lake dock okay. and hit you with a fish gap hook. Okay. Ten points. And that's going to be oh, for no. 10. So that's going to take you down to 5. Dr. Jones. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any way to escape, so I'm going to take the ball peen hammer. I'm going to use my twine again, and I'm going to put a letter opener on it, so I'm going to be able to come out with a pickaxe. Yes. A lot of axes in this yes. game. Yes. <laughs> so you get 21. 21. Another 21. Oof. And see, I don't have any, I, whoops, I don't have any way to void it or anything like that. The only, thing I'm, only reason I'm writing this down is because we keep a spreadsheet of everything. In case this All does. the game, yeah. Because again, this is developmental. Of Absolutely. App, and so writing it down does help them. Eventually, when they have this fully released, this app will work. Well, the other thing we like to do is, is like I say, just keep a basic spreadsheet of all of our mm -hmm. playtests so that we can see the generations of the game as it goes, what worked, what didn't work, how many times I died versus how many times campers died, and things like that. And I also saw him write down for when you had your crash. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But are these the same, same tablets across, or are these different? They're all uh, Amazon. So they're yeah, all Amazon. Kindle, yeah. yeah, they're just Kindle Fires. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just real right. simple Sunday. stuff. It's cheap. Yeah. And that's Android. That's the best yes. part about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand people developing only you know, what iOS, because that is terrible. Now, yeah. are you able to actually use anything, like, use that for any slippage or anything? I mean, technically, I guess we don't need to. Can you use, what What do you got? Okay, so I, so she does not so have. So it's got, it's got slip. slip. She, does, she doesn't have if slip. If she doesn't have you slip, you can't use Not at all, yeah. even if she's in the location. Right. Yeah, okay, you got it. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, she doesn't know how to make people slip. Ugh, terrible. We're going cool. down to five. You're down to five. Okay. Yeah. And, um, change my location. Lake Duck. Got it. So I'm trying to figure out um, how to more appropriately use like the slip and the trip kind of thing. Okay. If I wanted to trip you with that and then have like drill bits on the floor that you fall into. Yeah, you can because you have to use the slip and the slip, right? So basically what you would do is you would tie the extension cord around the boat oar and maybe tie it around something else or whatever and use it to trip me as I go by. Oh, okay. That kind of thing, yeah. Or we had, um, in a build, we had where you could, and I think we need more of those examples, yes. but, um, and that may be kind of like a, um, that's, that's the crowdsource piece. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. you go. Um, we had a thing where you get, uh, say he's got the kebab skewers and you've got a piece of rope. Well, you tie it around that and you make a garage so you come after me around my neck, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do have another game mm -hmm. out uh, that is, uh, it's a very, very simple game called Grommets and Hooks. And it's Grommets and Hooks. Grommets and Hooks. And I'll show you a copy of it here in a minute. But it's just a press your luck type game. So I'm going to pull as many grommets as I can without getting a hook. And then you're going to do the same thing. That's it. Okay? That's the whole game. But what we've done is we've crowdsourced out the rules because people got to where they were making up their own rules. They would play war with it or they would do this or that. So on our website, at a certain point, you'll be able to find all of the crowdsourced rules for that game, too. Yeah, is your website the same thing as... Yes. Is that it's, not on there, it's not on there yet, but it will be. And what we were just talking about is the crowdsource piece of this may be where you go on, you see the game, and you can see all the crazy stuff that people have built. Mm -hmm. And the way to utilize, you know, things like that that you've seen in the past, you know. Okay. I built a 136 point attack today because I was in this and I did this with this <coughs> and this. So that may be the crowdsource piece. That is some awesome. Just yeah, that'd be kind of cool if you could actually go in there and see what people have done. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm up. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Uh, Laundry. Laundry cellar lake dock, yep. right? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, 